and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Golgari Citadel. You may recall that we played this deck around five days ago or so. It was a donation deck uh, that played pretty well, but at the end of the video, I talked about some changes that I would like to see made to the deck, um, and then the deck that we ended up with at the end of the video is what we're going to try out today and see how it plays. So, of course, our deck is built around our namesake card, Bolus's Citadel. I'm just trying to get this card in play and really just kind of casting everything in our deck after we have this card um, in play. Because as you can see here, we get to look at the top card of our library and we, we may cast it if it's a spell and then we just pay life equal to its CMC rather than paying its mana cost. And so because of that, we're going to need to have a lot of life. And so we are built around uh, the Explore engine with our 12 Explore cards and, of course, Wow Growth Walker. So every time we explore, we gain life. So uh, if we have a Wow Growth Walker in play and we have a Bull Citadel and we play like a Seeker Squire, for example, off the top of our library, it costs two life to play the Seeker Squire. And then it enters and explores and we gain three. So we get to gain a life and we keep on going. The exploring uh, clears lands off the top of our, our library. And besides that, we have a couple more ways to clear lands off the top of our library that we didn't have before. Most notably, Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer is like the other key to this deck to uh, pair with Citadel, <clears throat> where Doom Whisperer can just surveil um, over excess cards that we don't want on top of our library for just the cost of two life. You know, if there's something that costs, you know, maybe like four mana, like a Chupacabra, or six mana, like another Citadel that we don't want. We can go two mana, put in the graveyard. Uh, same thing with extra lands. Uh, we can put extra lands in the graveyard. So it's a pretty nice deck um, whenever it gets going. Also, we, we also added in a couple of Field of Ruins to be able to shuffle as well. Uh, if we get stuck on, on, a, like on a land on top, we can Field of Ruin reset that way as well. So let's let's give this a try. We also put a couple of Command the Dread Hordes in, in the uh, sideboard. We didn't have those before. Uh, for removal heavy decks like where we end up with a whole bunch of cards in our graveyard but they're not really pressuring our life total we have the command the dread hordes as some other just haymaker cards in the sideboard as well let's give it a try so we don't i don't think the deck really needs wayward sword tooth to go along with uh to go along with citadel because I think there's there's a lot of ways to clear lands off the top that you don't, don't necessarily need the the sword tooth, because the sword tooth in like games that you don't have citadel and you don't have very many permanents, it's it's just not really doing very much for you. You know, like you can't can't attack or block until you already have a whole uh, bunch of permanents in play. And so our, our version that we had last time had them, but um, I'm removing those from the deck. Lifer with that tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Lifer. Thanks for resubbing here for a half year now. You're amazing, Lifer. Thank you so much. Yeah, Gaia's Blessing could cycle our deck, yes, but I don't think we really need kind of same same thing with Sword Tooth. We don't really need cards that make like I think we have enough cards that make um that make Citadel good that we don't we don't need other cards that that are only good when we have citadel out basically i know 80 ways to keep an open mind so good good strong opener for our opponent with that uh two mana removal to be able to kill the cast the the walker and then just be able to untap and slam Narset. All right. Well, we found our best, our best card in our deck, the Citadel. So we have to go three turns without our opponent playing a Thought Erasure, which that's that's the tough thing here, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
It's like a Vivian. No. I guess I could have seen that coming. I want to double squire or yeah I mean the other option is just using folly which then sets us back on citadel Looks like our opponent is just simply blue-black. They don't really have artifact removal. There's the blast zone there. It's quite annoying. All right, so we can we can just kind of chump block this eight eight here with the two one. Uh, next turn, if I if I folly, <clears throat> I can't really folly plus path or you know like I, I probably want to folly the Doom Whisperer. We got you know we could also get Wild Growth Walker of course. Um. If I get Wild Growth Walker, they just contempt it. In response. Hmm. I guess we'll do that. Take the contempt out of their hand. <laughs> yeah, this is a combo deck that can pop off crazily, yep. We gotta sit back and... Because, like, if if we... If I attack... If I have Jade Light kill Narset, and then my opponent kills the 2-1, then I'm taking 8, and I just I just can't take 8. So I have to I have to sit back and be careful. That's a good one. Um, I don't think I'm going to get Doom Whisperer back. I think I'm a little, little nervous about that. I'm going to just get Wild Growth and Jade Light. All right, good. No removal spell. And do not tap Field of Ruin, please. 
Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess might as well just feel the rune first then. Yeah, let's just feel the rune first. Reset this way. So we only have 23 cards left in our library. We do have to kill our opponent before we mill out. That is something we need to do. We get like two Bola Citadel activations this turn. Oh no, they're at 30. Down to four. Wild animals I like. People no one knows the wilds like I do. All right, no no reason to surveil here. Whoa, no, no, no. I want to attack. Dang it. I actually, uh, dang, I need to attack for four. <laughs> Whoops. All right, Evergrown Tomb, you're gone. And a forest. And a swamp. I could have got rid of this kill gate over here too. We can get rid of that one later. So, like, cause like, if I like pay two life to surveil, then I'm down to two, and I can't really, I can't play anything off the top at two life anyway. So, no real reason to to do that. Uh, not again. Well, could have attacked last turn. Put thoughtfulness before action. So we have we have two more wild growth walkers in here somewhere. There's only 17 cards. We know the bottom three and the top one are not wild growth walkers. So there's only 13 other cards. Two of them are wild growths. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, five, nine. Can't play that. Run one basic mound and one lightning strike in every deck for this reason. <laughs> hey, it's up, Kiki Image. So, if we would have gone to two, you would have had me.
Um, I should have just played this card first before playing Jade Light Ranger. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so they're looking for ritual of soot. I'm hoping they don't find it. All right. They did not find it. This is what Bolas of Citadel can do. need Omnixus' Cruelty. I kind of think I like Rasko Golgari Queen. No, maybe not. Yeah, let's just get like these Duresses and Command the Citadels in. And what else am I cutting? Do I just... How many lands do I have? 24. I kind of want to just cut Llanowar Elf. It gets swept up. It's not a good card to draw later on. This is going to be a game that goes late. Can we cut Llanowar Elf? Is that crazy? Seems a little crazy. Can we just replace Llanowar Elf with Duress? Seems a little bit crazy. And a little bit country. Elder Spell is fine. You know, we saw them have Narset, maybe a Liliana. They don't have like a ton of Planeswalkers, it's just uh, blue black. It's fine. I don't think we really need it though. Oh, you think they're going to bring in Ashiok? I don't know. I'm the only. I just had two find finality that they saw as like the only way to interact with my graveyard. I, don't, I think I'm okay with that. I think Ashiok like milling me four is kind of more of a, a thing that I'm worried about than like the whole exile graveyard thing. Boost that sub count here, like that Bethel Freak. Keep. And does everything. Except for more lands. Ooh, now it's even got those. Well, we're going to be curving out here. Let's just go ahead and Thought Erasure. So, Enter the God Eternals. Thief of Sanity. Yuck. Steve is saying he's a big yuck. Hmm. Pass turn. Liliana's triumph. Yay! No land. Yay. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that card too. So the other Citadel is like pretty awkward because 
If they have like a, a discard spell for like the one, then I'm gonna wish I would have had the other kind of thing. So, I don't think I'm really scared of my opponent taking a WoW Growth Walker, so we'll just keep the WoW Growth Walker there, have these Jade Lights be 4 threes, because 4 threes hit really hard. Obviously, they, they get to look at the other two cards besides WoW Growth Walker. Ah, they took WoW Growth. So yeah, like, I mean, I can, I can beat WoW Growth Walker, obviously. Guess they can go grab more Explore creatures, though. All right. Hey, good job, Vladimir. Yeah, so you played you played the dredge deck at at F and M, and it did pretty good. Awesome. Glad to hear. If our opponent does not, if they're not able to contempt here, if they can't kill Doom Whisper, if we get to untap and slam Citadel, G G. They could not. All right, one to know. Is cast down the best answer to Doom Whisper? Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of any better one. I mean, it's two mana. I don't think there's, don't think there's any one mana answers. So yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, Despark would be Exile. You'd have you'd have to have two different colors, but that's another good one. No, my citadel. That's other games we were not getting our citadels thought erasured last match. Um. All right, Mike. Vivian. It was um, a band. It was brand new. Was the name of the band? The Quiet Things No One Ever Knows was the name of the song. Let's see if I can get this back to where we were. There we are. Hey, Nam. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Ooh, Stone Rain. <clears throat> or Wasteland. It didn't even cost me any mana. That's kind of rough. Okay. Carnival, you got me. You got me. All 
All right, please no counter, please no counter. Yay, yay. All right, just that for now. Yes, I did it, Manuel. No. No. Don't go bedeviling my heart. All right, hopefully no land ritual upset. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> Bring in the doom. Doom whisper can find another citadel for us. <clears throat> So my graveyard isn't working for Deckmaster, but everything else is? That's, that's weird. Um, I wonder if... Let me, let me try something real quick. Does it... Does it work now, possibly? Okay, so the, the stream decker, the deck list thing was in the way. The deck list thing was covering it. Interesting. Well, that's game. All right, so Grixis, let's kind of do the same thing we were just doing. Uh, I want another trophy here in this matchup, though. I could see Elder Spell in this matchup as well. Definitely want another trophy. Let's take these little elves out. Um... I don't know if we really need Elder Spell. Hmm. Nah, we got the trophies. That's good. Let's try this. Yeah, the commands are in the sideboard that we have bringing them in here. Now, yeah, Path. I don't think Path of Discovery is weak in this kind of matchup. It, it basically means that we never draw lands uh, later on in the game. And uh, you know, giving all of our creatures another explorer. And yeah, like they don't have the answers to enchantments, of course. Ooh. Well, my hand may have been a little risky here. Thanks, Evo. Yeah, this deck's pretty fun. Yes, yeah, so we know our opponent has one basic swamp. We don't know anything else about... We don't know if they have any other basics. It's it's unlikely that they have other basics, but it is possible. 
It's possible. No, because it's not possible. They, if they had a basic in hand, they would have played it afterwards. So no, they just have. So it's just one basic swamp. Hmm. Hey, Rex. No, I don't have any guys' blessings in here. Nothing like that. So do they want to make me discard two cards or one card and play a bolus? Alright, one card and play a bolus. We need to get another black source. Stronger. Feel the oh, not dead yet. So playing the Vivian here incentivizes my opponent to of course attack the Vivian, which then would mean I'd have another six power on the ground to put them down to three if they want to carnage and get rid of my hand. That was a really nice reveal. So it kind of makes them want to play the other Nicol Bolas then, of course, instead. And then we'd have the Chupacabra for the Nicol Bolas and still attack for six. Okay, they are going clear out my hand. Interesting. All right, we'll put them down to three. Defeat is a new beginning. Yeah, we have, we have the two Field of Ruins in the deck, and they've been doing a good amount of work for us. Well, that was unfortunate. We didn't get to, we didn't top deck anything to kind of follow up with, like, with this pressure here the last two turns, two bricks in a row. And, of course, we drew the trophy the turn that we got our hand discarded. <laughs> Why couldn't we draw a land that turn and the trophy one of the other two turns? Why be a 
beast when I can be a god. All right, looks like we're going to a game three here. So yeah, Elder Spell can kill some Planeswalkers, Cruelty can kill some Flyers. Don't really want them, though. I mean, like, situationally, those cards could be very good, but there's other other times where they may not be good. And, and I like everything that's in the deck already. We already have removal spells and everything. I do like our three Assassin's Trophies that we have in there. Yeah, Mortal Sun's just another six mana card. We already have Bolas of Citadel and Command the Dread Horde. I don't think we need another six mana card. Like Immortal Sun. Grixis is the kind of deck that Immortal Sun helps out against less as well with them having artifact removal. With Rampage, Bedevil, stuff like that. A little bit of an awkward time to draw that duress. I'm gonna just try curving out with these explore creatures. They still hit hard. Been asking every magic streamer, but nobody knows. Doing the math, it seems like almost every deck should side out a land on the draw. Why don't people? There's, there's certainly a risk to siding out a land on the draw. Um, you know, having less lands in your deck. Risk of not being able to curve out. Um, hey, Boot, thanks for that resub there. Hope you have a good day at work today. And magic players are just people in general like to be risk averse. And I haven't seen any, with that being said, I haven't seen any math myself that shows that. I could see that being the case, of course. I'm just, just saying I just haven't seen any Math that shows that doesn't mean that there isn't math that shows that. Uh, we got a little puppy dog here on top, which is good against big scary dragons. So of course our, our opponent basically has to play the Tyrant Scorn here. <laughs> hey, what's up, Orasonic? Fourteenth sub of the day. Which 
means I just, which, which therefore means I just have to play the puppy dog now. Because otherwise, Bolas just makes me discard it, and I'm not going to just folly put something in my hand whenever I may not have a, a black source. All right, now we'll get back the we'll folly back the other troop. Hope to draw a swamp. Didn't draw a swamp, but we'll just trophy this thing. <laughs> Negate. Sure. Um sack branch walker to put them to 2. No. Cool. I'll trade a wild growth walker for a nickel bolus in their hand. When do I want a Field of Ruin? I don't want to give them another mana on this next turn, even though like this takes like I don't think I'd really mind them drawing the swamp. I don't really want to give them another mana this next turn. You know, I don't want them to like have like some instant in hand that they get to like kind of prepare me, um, you know, like a tyrant scorn or whatever that they get like that extra that extra black mana during their end step. So even though even though I would like them to draw the swamp. Okay. So yeah, I don't I don't want to feel the ruin during their upkeep either. Like again, they may be able to use that extra mana. Some good close games there. Two no here. <laughs> All right, nice looking hand. We get to get this Golgari Gilgate turn two while our Land Elf helps us play the Wild Growth Walker. And this looks like four color command. That we're playing against here. Oh man, it's storming here. Well, maybe just Abzan. 
Maybe just some good clean Abzan. Downpour just started there as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's pouring hard here. Don't think I have anything... Yeah, any problems, like, windows are up on the car and everything, so... Can't think of anything outside that I need to get to take care of. Yep, and there the other beacon drops. Penny wised up with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Until it's too late. Thank you so much for that sub. I really do appreciate that. Our 15th sub of the day. Hope you're having a nice end to your weekend here on this fine Sunday afternoon. So I want to Field of Ruin the Interplanar Beacon, but if I do that, I don't get to actually do anything else. Which is a little annoying. I can kill the Wild Growth Walker with Choop, hit them for three, and hit Golgari Queen for one. Or I can just play Doom Whisper or Vivian. Vivian helps me hit land drops. Yeah, I think I like the fast damage idea too. I like this idea the most. I don't want them just to draw a Jade Light or anything. And plus, I, w I would feel to ruin the Interplanar Beacon right now, but honestly, maybe potentially feel to ruining one of these Black Sources could be the way to go against, you know, a Command the Dread Horde. It's not like... It's not like this deck plays, like, a ton of Black Sources. I don't have any like specific deck like that I recommend for for climbing the ladder right now. I think there's like ten different decks you can play. You know, really anything like at the top of like any any of like the most played decks in standard, they're all good. You can win with anything. You know, it's just whatever your play style is, whatever you enjoy. You know, everything's good. Like, for example, there's like the. Let's slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. Alright, well now I can Field of Ruin plus play Wild Growth Walker again. Hmm. I kind of wish I didn't keep this Vivian. Nickel Bolas version. I'll be back. Just like before. I feel silly for not getting rid of a beacon. That? But getting rid of that overgrown tomb at the, the drowned catacomb didn't come into play tapped. Or like it would come into play tapped. 
Ble. I shouldn't even let them block with their branch walker and kill it and bring it back, honestly. Please don't remove my citadel. Just let me untap, please. Just please let me untap. Please let me untap. Please don't play anything crazy. Is there just another nickel bolus? No, not at the ferry. Please, no to ferry. Tamio. Okay. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. To the library. Okay. All right, here we go. more like it and we're off to the races we'll just keep that on top keep that on top thank you I will keep that on top Kill them? No, let's. Get this out of here. My research has been compromised. Always with me. Kill the branch walker, it's better for them to get back Jade Light. And we'll draw that thing. We missed, you say? Or did we? Oh, another wild growth? Alright, let's keep exploring. Here we go. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Another land war elf. Alright, surveil. There's an explore creature. <clears throat> gain six. Oh, auto uh, gameplay. Auto order these triggered abilities, you're good. So we're at 13. Get rid of these lands. 12. Down to 10. 
There's a jade light. All the life. <laughs> Alright, play this. Yeah, they are very dead. All right, um, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, um, wait, wait, no. I need full control. All right, full control on. All right, full control, play this. With that on the stack, sacrifice, citadel, all these summoning sick things. Are you summoning sick? Yes, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. Uh, you are. You are. Still not 10? You. Oh, submit 10. Okay. I don't need full control anymore anymore. Oh, I have a ten ten attack right here. They're at nine. I'm gonna just attack. I guess we don't need to play more cards. We could though. Victory. I guess our opponent's command the Dreadhorde deck wasn't ready for them to uh, go way over the top. Man. Could you make a Nia Legends deck with the new edition cards? Yeah, I I have one, Lord's um I have one that we've played on during the sub battle streams. I can look for it on the Stream Decker page. I haven't played it, you know, recently, but it's still, you know, it's okay. Let's see, Naya, probably be from like four weeks ago or so. Let's look for Naya Legends. Here we go. Here's a link. It looks like we may have the same matchup again here. Hey Dusty, thanks for that sub there. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you just don't need Citadel with guys blessing in it. You just don't need it. You just you kill them anyway. I would call unnecessary. So we have all Abzan land, so we should probably destroy the blue land. Awesome attack. Glad you're liking the deck. Oh, thanks, Dusty. Go ahead. 
Really? The branch walker? Not like my... Not like my extra mana source. Your demise won't help. It seems fortune favors you. Alright, we'll just trade Golgari Queens. For now. Yeah, we have one path of discovery in here. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Looking at graveyards over here. Stop. Go with the Stone Rain. Make it so they definitely can't command the Dreadhorde this turn and take out a Black Source also. That's well, unfortunate. They had another one in hand. Hmm. That's also unfortunate. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Wish I would have just taken out the Blue Source. That was the tough question there. Oh, sorry to hear that, same one. The storied past holds our future. What? They just want me to attack Tamio? Why would they want their Tamio to be dead? I don't understand. I have learned all I can here. All right, no dread horde. So I'm at 10. Don't have very much life. Down to six. Jeez. Down to four? I don't think I can go down to four, honestly. Wow. At least we cleared out four lands off the top. Ugh. So they bounce Doom Whisper attack out, I'll go to one. Never mind, now I die. That was really ugly there. Alright, so got really punished by my Assassin's Trophy play though, of course, that we had here. You know, if I, if I just trophy the blue source instead of the black source. Uh, I, I tried going after the black source because of command, but if I just go after the blue, then they couldn't cast the Tamiya or the Teferi. And we look a lot better. Mm-hmm. 
I don't want this enchantment in here. Massacre Girl has Menace. I, you had to double block Massacre Girl, so I couldn't say alive there. What do I t like? What are the five cards that I don't want in my deck right now? All these cards are very reasonable. Yeah, Cruelty is really good against Wild Growth, Exiling, and everything. I don't. I just don't have room for it. There's nothing else I want to take out. Vivian would be the other option to take out. Yeah, but I do like Vivian and these hands. Not good. I like Vivian though. Take out the white source. You know, they don't have that many white sources, I wouldn't think. Maybe I, I think I'm gonna instead of trying to worry about command the dread horde, I'm gonna try to worry about uh, the other plane. You know, them just being able to play the planeswalkers from their hands. You know, like the Teferis. Trying to build this deck with Splash White for God Eternal Oketra. I'm not sure how that's necessary. Wherever I go, oh, I was getting bored anyway. I think the best thing the white gives you is like white gives you Soren. It allows you to re return creatures and gives your creatures lifelink also. But I mean, if you want Oketra, I have learned much from my ancestors. Its pain is our gain. You could you could make it work. Um, I mean, I guess like I guess just like with this deck, Oketra would go in the Vivian slots. So I kept the Vivian because I was thinking, play Vivian, tick up, find a land, play Llanowar Elf. Because we need another land if we're going to find Citadel or Command the Dread Horde. Yeah, I'm still going to do that. 
A wild I've seen things that would break someone like you. Little here. Yeah, I would have loved to have field uh, previously. I think it's too late for field now. It's really unfortunate both fields go into the bottom of the library like that. I am not going to sit this one out. I'm not ready for this quite yet. But of course, if I grab the field, I wasn't able to play Lano or Elf. Meet my newest friend. It's only a matter of time. Definitely dangerous, yeah. We don't really have good op like like amazing options or anything here. Yeah, I could certainly have more Teferis or command the Dreadhorde to bring them back. Really hope not. Of course. This isn't your average zombie okay. horde. Impressive, isn't it? Oh, this looks like a fun new toy. Ooh, good. Scars are lessons written in skin. I'm not casting that command, the Dread Horde. Really glad they didn't attack me, because the Come the Liliana like being able to minus. Oh man, we are living on the edge. But we have we are we are kind of doing it. We are kind of doing it. We are doing it. Okay. We got stopped. Wait, we gonna play land still? Ah, now we got stopped. Yeah. I'd say we kinda did it. Yeah, I'd say we did it. Alright, now now we want our opponent to play Command the Dread Horde, because I can activate the Citadel and do ten damage. Yeah, so I could make them lose 10 life. Whew. 
Okay. We're going to a game three. I did not think we were winning that. <laughs> um... I'm going to play a couple of my own duresses, actually, here. Well, this hand looks wild. No cards will rotate at the next expansion. It is in approximately one month. I definitely like a land drop here. Be able to drop a couple more jade le or a couple more wild growths. And not have to worry about land. Um, no, we need land. So Field of Ruining, like the blue source, doesn't really make much sense now that now that they got the Tamiyo. Hmm. Can't make them discard with Tamiyo in play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, I can't even kill Tamiyo. If I chup if I chup a cobra kill the Brontodon. No lands. Why would why would you not block the two one branch walker? Oh, because of Masker Girl. Okay, no Masker Girl. Hmm. Need that land. Let's let's take a look at what we have over here. We don't really need to chupacabra that. Let's see. Okay, so there is the masker girl. And they have double breeding pool. Yes, done. Can I What's going on here? Done. Thank you. So we can't shoot a hole in the armor anywhere with a field of ruin. Yeah, we have to yeah, we're gonna have to restart the client. Plenty of every color. 
get rid of white, black. We get another one, we can get rid of another white. So we have cards, they don't. They have a lot of lands, we don't. We still have lands. <laughs> Didn't we keep a three lander? We at least kept two. No, we kept two lands. So the next 12, 12 cards, we've seen one land. I don't know why they bounced the branch walker and let me look for land again, but I'm glad. They top deck command. Bleh. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Hmm. You can't yeah, stop this game. nature. Just could not get any lands. Even with all that exploring. Alright, it's definitely reset arena here for how this is lagging and everything. It's really unfortunate. Let's see if we can get. Yeah, we were we were really lucky game two. Can't complain too much because yeah, we were really lucky game two, uh, but then yeah, really unlucky there game three. This is fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Yeah, we can play Branch Walker next turn. They'll help us look for land. Fits the curve just fine. feel really jumpy still. We're going to feel really jumpy today. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll use fine to get these two things back. Where if we do get to get that land next turn, we can wild growth walker plus seeker squire the next turn. Wow, early frenzy. All right.
Their hand must not be very good. <laughs> yeah, that's our first time seeing Mono Red today. Hey, Kurtash. Well, that frenzy didn't didn't do a lot. Admittedly. Yeah, so they frenzied into double land. Well, there they go. That kills wild growth. That was a good turn for them. I'm just going to play 6-6. Six, six. Not going to try to get too fancy here with Citadel and everything, you know, like they're, they don't have very much life. Let's just play the 6-6 six, six Flyer. 6-6s six, are hard to deal with, with a red deck. When people start screaming, hey, okay. I know I'm on track. Sit back and watch it burn. All right, so against the red deck, what do we want to do? Ah. Let's get all these duresses in, the cast downs, the moment of cravings, this cruelty. I think we take out Citadel here. I'm going to take out the Path of Discovery. And we're at 67. Land where all get chain world. So 63. <laughs> so Vivian destroys Frenzy. That's the reason why I like Vivian. Because without Vivian, we have nothing to deal with Frenzy. It's I'm thinking maybe we don't need all these duresses. I have no way to kill a Chandra. I don't have like contempts. It's really annoying. It's quite annoying. Oh wait, I have trophies. All right, trophy can deal with Chandra. All right, good. Um, let's go one Vivian, two to rest. Meow, 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 meow. All right, decent hand here. I, I really like Doom Whisperer in this matchup. I know the pay to life surveil two isn't ideal, but just the 6-6 six, six flyer is just so hard for red to deal with, and it gives you like that that uh, avenue to turn the clock and, and start attacking them and, and finish the game after you stabilized. No, you don't. No, if you kill Chandra with Assassin's Trophy, no, you you do not take the damage from Chandra's passive ability. I adore an audience. Yeah, 
It won't make sense. <clears throat> My assistants are painfully sloppy. I don't think it really makes a whole lot of sense for me to play the branch walker and have it get shocked. Does it? Actually, maybe it does. Yeah, actually it does. Well, I'm glad we played it, otherwise we would just be drawing the overgrown tomb next turn. <clears throat> Doom Whisperer, please. Doom Whisperer. Bleh. Well, Trophy will kill Tibalt or if they have a frenzy. Yeah, casting finality. I'm guessing the frenzy can whiff, I guess. So we're down to f down to 5 and then there's the shock put us down to 3. Well, so much for shot for uh, frenzy missing. So even though they're likely drawing a land there, I can't I can't really go to like pass turn and then upkeep do that in case it was like an instant there. Gosh, Phoenix also. Let me get this other Vivian in on the play. I think we need some more card draw, some more firepower here. And you know, another answer to Frenzy, where then Trophy can can start answering something else. We do have the Obnexus Cruelty that can exile Phoenix, thankfully. This is not a very ideal hand. But we're going to hit our land drops. And we're going to draw some good cards. They'll fill out our curve. Okay. 
Okay. No lands, please. Oh, come on. Well, we did not do the whole draw some good cards to fill out the curve part. Spell. Okay, we'll take it. This is not, not dead yet. It's definitely possible they just had like multiple frenzies. The wilds are my shield. We're actually doing okay. Like our, our Vivian didn't die. Vivian cleared off a bunch of lands off the top. So now we're gonna start drawing a bunch of spells. Let's do this again. Hmm. Looking for like a. There we go, that'll work. Like something big. Something to take over. Borderin! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub there. Getting those hype boats in for the seventh month now. Thank you so much. Sub so number 17 on the day. We are getting close to another sub goal, Hawkeye. Okay? I know you're so excited about that. I guess I should just get rid of the trophy if I'm just going to play the Vivian. Yeah, I should just put the trophy in the graveyard. Let's meet my newest friend. Punished. Hmm. Whenever you can't choose something, it, it like doesn't let you click done. Remember this happened with the duress like the last game? There it goes. I'm not going to be using Doom Whisperer's ability anymore. Come to me. So if I would have ditched the Assassin's Trophy, we would have just drawn the... Uh, would have just drawn that woodland cemetery, or would have gotten the woodland cemetery with the Vivian. So yeah, definitely punished. Ugh. And then we would have drawn something better. Arithmetics, uh, arithmetics. There we go. Let's go with that. Arithmetics. Jumping in on that support as well. Thank you, thank you so much for that subscription. I really appreciate that. And with that, we are four and one now with Golgari Citadel. And we are on our way to the final boss. You ready, Hawkeye? I just put this camera down a little bit ago because you're sitting here. Now play it down again. Final boss playlist time.
Final boss is tough. Uh, we lost to uh, the final boss twice with Naya Aggro earlier. We were 4-0 going in and ended up 4-2. We'll see if we get it this time. I thought it was a blanket. <laughs> no, this is Hawkeye. Mono red final boss. Steamkin. All right, let's see if we can find something that can deal with the Steamkin. So they know we're going to go Wild Growth Walker into Seeker Squire the next turn. At least they have to assume that. By knowing about those two cards. What if I just pass the turn? No, it's not worth it. Because like if I pass the turn, they lightning strike branch walker. They can get some damage in and then and like have the same same thing there. Because like the the problem with passing turn is lightning strike branch walker. And then, you know, like, attack for a lot. It's just not worth it. And getting rewarded for, for doing that, because now we're going to have the Doom Whisper next turn. Just hoping no Frenzy. We have these these little creatures covered for the most part. Just hoping no frenzy. Man, these these haste unblockable creatures are pretty good. Yay, no frenzy. Hmm. So I know it's obvious of what I'm doing here. Um, I could just, I could just take the, I could just take the two cards and like leave them in hand to be able to play them both the next turn but then obviously the opponent would know all about them i could see if we draw a land and then finality the board but getting that wild growth walker especially when we have the citadel that's our thing to do all right bye hawkeye Oh. Want to get pets more? Okay. Um, I'm going to take it out. Golgari Queen. Wait, no. Golgari Queen, good. Trophy, good. Squire comes... No, no, no. Branch Walker is worse than Squire. Squire is better. More toughness, better. Land of War Elf. Dies a Chain Whirler. 
I can't see, okay? Wait, I can look over here. All right, so this is 59. Oh, let's get these branch walkers, some of these back in. Okay, let's go with this. I'm just gonna try it with them mulliganing to six. Maybe their hand's really bad. Jade lights are, you know, like it's a good card. It's good at finding stuff. Maybe we get like really lucky and draw a wild growth for turn two. Hmm, that's a wild growth for turn two. Okay, I need to try to play here. Play magic, not... Not pet you all the time. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> uh, just the one, just Hawkeye. All right, so it definitely looks like my opponent is uh, wanting to strike a, a Wild Growth Walker, right? So I'm not going to just play the Wild Growth Walker out and let it get stricken. And, of course, leave with this Jade Light. Look for something to do next turn, and then turn five, try to have this combination of cards. Um, sure. Don't play a frenzy. Yay, no frenzy. Strike, strike. Fight with fire. Shock. So I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off this Wild Growth Walker Jade Light Ranger combination. Ooh, or maybe I am. I knew you needed my help. What's that smell? The problem oh, is though that it's you burning. They have the Chandra. Never mind, not so much of a problem anymore. Um I I'm gonna let them get a Chandra to be able to do this. I'm gonna let them get one more Chandra activation, sorry. Take a Vivian next turn. Now, do I give them a, another Chandra activation to cast and play my Vivian and everything? Maybe not. That Steamkin was kind of perfect for him. Yeah, maybe not, because Vivian just dies to Steamkin Lightning Strike. I am out of here. Oh, that one I should I guess I should just wait to draw a step. Give them a little bit more chance to draw that mountain.
Mish Dreams with that sub. Welcome to the channel, Mish Dreams. Thank you so much for that support there. Sub number 19 on the day there. I'm a survivor. Yeah, I'll keep that wild growth walker on top, please. Thank you. Correct, Mote. No, my Vivian. All right, well, they got Steamkin in a card. And we have Wild Growth Jade Light. Setting up our next turn. I've seen worse. Well, good news is we got two cards off the top of our deck with that Jade Light. Bad news is, you know, there's more lands, and maybe we'll just keep drawing lands. Hopefully not. They have nine. All right, no fight with fire. That's good. I guess they had they already had nine before because of Steamkin. Stop drawing lands, deck. No. You want to go, tough guy? No. This is just gonna be bad for you. Ugh, it is bad for me. Get to see four cards a turn. Yuck. I would like a Doom Whisperer, please. Or a Vivian. Yeah, or a baby Vraska. I've seen too many cards a turn. Could I have like waited longer before playing Vivian? So we've seen one trophy as a removal spell in our 23 cards. After we boarded in a bunch of removal spells. It's not good. Hey, <laughs> the 36, you got this? We, we have no chance.
We are very dead. Just a couple of turns ago, we 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 were like a lot farther through our library than they are, and now they're six cards through through their library compared to us. Yeah, no no citadels. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I should keep a citadel in. Oh, that's just game two. Hey, we got another game. So if I play Citadel, All right, we'll give it a try and we'll cut to rest, get the other branch walkers in there to go with Citadel. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's possible they don't have we haven't seen Chain Whirler, I don't think. And so yeah, I guess that's that's certainly possible that they do not have Chain Whirler. land that's, that's really bad I'm gonna get rid of the Vivian deck we need some lands we need to get to this doom whisperer
Bleh. Keeping Cruelty because of Phoenix, if there's a Phoenix here. Even though it doesn't use my mana nearly as well. You wanna play with fire, huh? Let's light it up. I was hoping they were going to scry on upkeep, and then after they scryed on upkeep, then we would be able to trophy Chandra away. Like, they keep some card, and we, like, this make them shuffle. I guess they don't really have to shuffle, though. Yeah, just because we didn't see Phoenix doesn't mean they're not playing it. Though... That's all right. Get that out of there before the Doom Whisper. The other, the other match we lost, game three, was kind of like this, like where we were just stuck on three lands the whole time, even after exploring a bunch. You know, this time we're at four at least now, but we're certainly looking for lands. GG. I had to get rid of my Vivian earlier. We do have to be worried about fight with fire. As we've seen, you know, we've seen them with the fight with fires. They can they can kick it. They can kick it very easily. Yeah, we need like three lands in a row because <laughs> the treasure map. So yeah, we need the land, land, land. Do I pay two life to kill Frenzy at this point? Oh, 
I think, yeah, I think so. All right, moment of craving is perfect. We need to get lucky. We need to hit Wild Growth Walker and then explore creatures. Wild Growth Walker. Okay, step one. Not explore creature. Problem is there could just be a lightning strike. Like if I if I pay life and surveil to go to six, and then there's like a jade light, then I pay three life for a jade light, and then they have lightning strike, they just kill me in response. There's a good chance they have fight with fire, though, honestly. I kind of feel like they have fight with fire. I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm going to play for the win. Yep. I kept that one on top pretty quickly. Jade Light, Jade Light. Golgari Queen. That cost me three life. Dang. We bricked. No explore creatures. So we saw three of our 12 explore creatures in 25 cards. That's unfortunate. There's a the strike. So they did have Chain Whirler for the, for the people in chat that said that our opponent doesn't play Chain Whirler. It's right there. All right, fun game though, fun game. That final boss is, is tough though. Another 4-2. This deck's pretty sweet though. I think... Oops, wrong deck. I think the one thing that... You know, so I, I tried out the Obnixus of Cruelty because like that was in... Those were in the deck from the the person that donated for the deck. I... I'm... I don't like the card. I'm getting, I'm getting rid of this card. Uh, let me get the playlist back going. Again. Yeah, I mean, I, th I just think it's Vrassa's Contempt. Vrassa's Contempt costs... Uh, only cost two life to Citadel. You know, like, you gain your life back where where the other card does... Where Omnixless Cruelty costs the, th the three life. And we just need more answers to Planeswalkers. You know, like Chandra's, Tybalt, stuff like that. Um... 
Plus, this is still really good against Steamkin, Chain Whirler, all that kind of stuff. You gain that two life. I just, I just think it's contempt. Um, I wasn't super impressed with the Golgari Queens that I, that we were trying out there. Definitely liked these trophies. I wouldn't mind maybe having a fourth trophy. It's been surprisingly good. I think we need we need some kind of sweeper in here, maybe for the aggro decks. Which I guess would be finale. I think this deck could use a finale. Vivian's been okay. I I'm not really I'm not ready to just like ditch Vivian. It's been okay. Is it finale or is it ritual? It's probably finale. Over that Golgari Queen in the sideboard. I mean, honestly, should we just should like should we just have like some Bronzodons in here for the red matchup? We can also destroy, you know, can destroy frenzies and everything. It's just bronze it on. I don't really like love the moment of cravings. Like they were they were fine. Not really sure if that's what we really want. Um, I don't, I don't know if you actually, I don't know if you cast, I don't, yeah, you, you don't, finale doesn't work with Citadel. If you have a Citadel in play, finale is just pay two life to, you know, destroy up to three creatures with toughness zero or less. Like, you know, you're, you're just going to play X is zero. There's not really creatures with toughness zero or less. Um, but yeah, the Path of Discovery, the Vraska. I, I don't know if I like Finale more than Ritual of Soot. You know, like thinking like Mono White, like you probably just need Ritual of Soot against like Mono White. We had casualties of war in here before, but we we have I don't want more six mana cards with these citadels and commands. I don't I don't want more sixes. Don't don't want Abzan. Um Yeah, not not huge on Path of Discovery, not not big on Vivian or Vraska. I think Mono White would be would be pretty tough for this deck, to be honest. Oh, that's true. We have we have finality. I forgot that we had that card. I also just completely forgot we had this fi this card. We just never drew this card. <laughs> I forgot about that. All right. I don't want that finale. Let's get. We'll have one moment of craving instead of two, and then get a couple of Brontodons in here. That's good. All right, that's good. 
I like that. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it here for Golgari Citadel, and I will see you for another video. Thank you for watching.